I am continuing on the video that I made titled I have just tested HIV positive what now what do I do so I am going to continue from where I left off in that video but Lena a video the funo focus I want to focus mainly on counseling which is usually the nurse or the counselor or the doctor does that counseling um i will just go over the things that we usually discuss or that should actually be discussed with you as a patient or with the person who has just tested hiv positive so the first thing is i will discuss three things adherence relationships and disclosure starting with adherence it's very important to take your pills the way you should take them when you should take them <clears throat> it's important for every nipinai medical condition every every medical condition there is ikubalekile uba umuntu makazi ke ipilisi zakhe ngohlobo kuthe azazithathe ngalo because there's a reason why you are given a prescription what is a prescription it is an order or an instruction that says you must take this pill this blue pill once a day in the morning every 24 hours every day for the next 28 days or, or whatever the case may be um mostly when it comes to arvs you 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 will most people most people are on one tablet it's a one tablet that has three drugs in it so it's a fixed dose combination we call it an fdc um there are those people who are taking more than one tablet one in the morning one in the evening there are people who take for instance um aluvia which is for most people most adults it's two in the morning and two in the evening some take uh, lamzit which is a combination of lamivudine and zidovudine they take one tablet in the morning and one tablet in the evening. So, depending on that person. Because we have first line treatment and we have second line treatment and we have third line treatment. Now, when it comes to adherence, what are the challenges that sometimes people face? It's side effects. Ne? Side effect is anything that is any effect that the medication causes that is negative or that is not the that is not the original effect that is wanted for that drug okay for example i will take paracetamol you take paracetamol for a headache but it might make you nauseous okay um or or you take a, 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 a aspirin for for a headache but it might cause your heartburn, maybe, you, you understand. So sometimes uh, side effects are a challenge to some people. So with side effects, please tell your nurse or your doctor or your counselor. Tell them, don't just decide, okay, I'm not going to take this pill. Don't, don't just decide. Tell your... So... Um, side effects report the side effects please and then remember the medication is lifelong until retrovirals are lifelong there's no cure yet guys science is still looking for the cure hopefully one day they will get it uh, but the next best thing now is the injection the injectable arv that you can inject once i think once every two months or once a month which I, I feel is would be such uh, would bring relief to people living with HIV. So that's adherence. The second one is relationships. With relationships, I would say this this affects intimate intimate relationships. Now I'm talking about people that you are sexually active with. When it comes to relationships, I will say to you, be, be moral, okay? Be moral. Do 
unto others what you would want to be done unto you okay so what i'm saying meaning that if you if it if you let's say if you were the negative partner and the other one is is positive you would want the positive partner to disclose to you before you engaged in certain intimate activities do that okay do that obviously that comes with challenges because it's not easy to disclose but when it comes to intimate relationships because we are talking about an sti here it's a sexually transmitted infection it's not like diabetes it's not like high blood pressure um the third is disclosure do not disclose to anyone and everyone choose to disclose you it's a choice disclosing is a choice ensure that you trust that person that they can keep your hiv status in confidence okay um, now this includes your family this includes your your friends uh disclose when you are comfortable to disclose because i know some people they have been damaged by disclosing at the wrong time or to the wrong person and now the whole village or the whole suburb ends up knowing and when this other person is drunk they just blab it and tell everyone that that uh, 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 Yanga or, or, or Jolene is HIV positive. So just choose uh, carefully when you when you disclose. Otherwise, guys, all in all, um, HIV is defeated. I told you even before, HIV is defeated. You just need to take medication. That's all. You see, I, I really feel for people who suffer from opportunistic infections or people who even die from hiv it shouldn't be happening not now it should not be happening we have medications that are easy to take if you have a side effect you are able to take another medication so no to stigma okay uh let's let's live our lives positively from me to you god bless